Uh, it's Thursday, the 2nd of May, the day we all have been eagerly waiting for. It is residency call out day. Woo! We are exactly 28 days out before the national exam, the written exam. And look at this guy. What a waste, man. Bro, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think this is a perfect example of what we all are going through right now. Sleepless nights. Sleepless nights. Yeah. Bro. And and that ends up with you sleeping in the lecture, right? Yeah. The lecture hall. Now it's like having a baby home with the exam stress. <laughs> you baby. <laughs> yeah. It it wakes you up every yeah. night. Shit. <laughs> 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 I have to look better than him. <laughs> you look better than me, bro. Look at the hair. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I still remember the day when I used to watch all the other senior medical students take their batch photos. And now it's our time to do that. We're almost yeah. done. Our final picture, last photo as one batch. Devi Pazi, how does it feel? Sure. Soon done in med school, man. Four weeks, less than four weeks to go. Yes. Shafi, Where Dr. have you Shafi. seen so many doctors? Huh? Look, look, look at all that. Oh yes. Dr. Shafi, right? And of course, the best of them, oh. them all, the future cardiologist. Over there again. We have to flex, bro. Flex, flex. Oh, your muscles. Flex your heart. Consultant, consultant. <laughs> consultant. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's that time of the year. Everyone's ready to take their batch photo. I think the picture's gonna be up there on the stairs. Here we go. So the entire exam season, it still hasn't hit me that we have our finals very very soon. But today now, while taking the batch photos where everybody's gathered in white, taking their final pictures, now this is the moment that I can hit me. Yeah. It's Oof. hitting me. Now I can feel the exam. How, how hard is it hitting? Like a wrecking ball. Like, <laughs> like a wrecking ball. It be like a wrecking ball, bro. wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we're officially done with all the batch photos, all the group pictures and everything. And uh, honestly, it feels quite surreal, man. Oh, 28 days to go and we are, fingers crossed, going to be doctors. Wow. <laughs> It's back day today. Oh my god. I'm so freaking tired right now. So my Ramadan comeback journey right now is actually going pretty well. I lost 4 kgs in Ramadan as you already know. And uh, 3 weeks after Ramadan, I have gained back around 2.5 kilograms. So almost there. No, it, no, like not completely there, but almost there. I think in a, in like two or three weeks time, I will be at the same level that I was before Ramadan. Even though I'm actually lacking in strength quite a lot, despite the fact that my weight is coming back, I've gained a lot of weight, but my strength is taking time, which is also fine. You have to give your body ample time to make a comeback as well. But when it comes to my exams, or honestly, these days are completely chaotic because I have like lectures from 8 to 4 every single day now up like for the next 3 weeks and that is honestly driving me crazy because how the hell can you know your faculty of medicine expect that all students will be present at the lectures from 8 to 4 and then also go back home or to the library and study the rest of the evening that is absolutely insane to me like how can you do that you know but that's how it is and you have to just you know keep going on keep moving forward and uh, just tackle the just tackle this just accept the situation as it is so there's one thing that i often think about which also annoys me as well is that a lot of students when it comes to their exam seasons stop working out they stop running they stop jogging they stop doing any forms of any form of exercise and that's because they don't want to be wasting any time doing other things apart from studying and that I think is the 
like is 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 the worst mindset to have during the exam season and according to my observation obviously i don't have any studies according to like prove this but according to my own observations i feel like these are the people who also freak out the most who stress the most and take the most um exam anxiety uh, like the let it really get to them and that's because they don't have have any avenues where they can go and uh, you know just get rid of all that frustration of all that anxiety of all that stress because this when i'm here i'm, I'm when i'm at the gym i don't think about my exams i don't think about anything else apart from working out and this really helps you to get in the, into the zone where you can really focus on yourself and focus on uh, giving your brain enough blood enough oxygen enough gl- glucose and really get some time to wind off Absolutely insane. So I have officially landed at this conclusion that Norway is the most NPC country to be living in. What happened right now is that I had my phone and my tripod tripod on the floor while I was working out, and then one of the uh, people who work here at the at the gym came up to me and he was and she was like, "Hey, sorry, but you can't be using, you can't be recording videos here. Uh, it's not allowed." And I was like, "Wait a minute. Okay, I get your point. You just work here. The policies are not in your hands. But do you also go around and tell and tell people to not record videos when, let's say, a friend of mine is filming me while doing squats with the phone in their hands, or is it just that you are coming up to me and telling me that I should not be uh, recording because I have a proper tripod, and hence you feel the urge to come up to me and tell me not to film? So do you like normally go up to people when they are taking pictures of the of themselves?" in the mirror as well and then she was like no we can't do that all the time and uh, you know we can't do that all the time and all that stuff and yeah that's because i saw your tripod and hence i and hence i had to come up to you and that's when i realized man this is so bs like seriously nobody cares when the people if, if there are people in the background how the hell am i supposed to go up to every single person and ask them if they want to be in my video that is physically not possible and that's exactly the same law or the same rules and the same policies when you're outside let's say taking pictures in downtown right there are there are always going to be people in your in the, in the background you cannot go around and ask every single person in the background is it okay for them that i am taking your picture because i'm not taking their pictures i'm not filming them i'm recording myself and they happen to be in the background so it's not my fault <laughs> but anyway so that was pretty annoying uh, that happens so i've just realized that norway is officially the most npc country in the world Oh, all right guys so i am home it's 8 pm right now and uh, honestly the rest the rest of my evening is just basically going to be studying studying and studying tomorrow is the 1st of may um which means it's a it's a national holiday but i also have to head to work in the evening and that's all honestly that's fine because on public holidays you get a lot of extra money man like you earn triple or four times the amount that you normally would Uh, versus a non-public holiday, and I actually also have to work on a TikTok video for my collaboration. I'm actually collab collaborating with freaking Quizlet guys. Quizlet, like, it's a big brand, and who thought one day I would get the opportunity to collab with freaking Quizlet, man? Wow. But now let's munch on some chocolate mm. and get to work. Oh, Thursday the 2nd of May. This is officially the day we all have been waiting for. And by that I mean it is residency call out day. Woo! Yeah, then it's almost 5 p.m. man. It's been an insanely long day. Like lectures after lectures, and lectures after lectures. My brain is completely fried right now. Completely fried. But the plan now is to do all these exam questions from the oski which i have printed out oski endocrinology oski neurology oski vascular surgery gynecology infections infectious diseases urology etc etc our goal is to get done with all these 
before the exam. It's 800 freaking pages. 800 pages. Boys, let's do it, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness. Uh, finally, I can call it a day. It's 7 p.m. and I uh, just got done at the gym. Anyways, the news that all of you have probably been waiting for this entire vlog. Did I get called in for residency? And the answer is yes, I did. So I had basically six interviews at six different hospitals and um, I got called in by three of those hospitals. And um, that, and these all these three hospitals are the ones that I was really hoping to get in. Like these were the these were these these were my like desired hospitals. Especially here's the thing. So there are three hospitals. I have to choose one, and one of them I have already eliminated. Now there are two hospitals to go. The first one is called um, Molde Hospital, and the second one is called Bergen or Bergen Hospital, and that's like a teaching hospital, like one of the biggest and main most important hospitals here in Norway. Now, here's, here's the thing that's actually driving me insane and I've been thinking so much about it and still haven't landed on a decision. So, the bigger hospital, the Bergen hospital, the teaching hospital, the thing is that I've heard that in these big big, big hospitals, you don't get, get to do so much like independent work, you don't really get that much responsibility because there are always other seniors in the front line who can help you out and you basically, and you basically sort of just end up doing stuff that those seniors ask you to do uh, whereas in other smaller hospitals like the other like molde you get a lot more responsibility you get you like you're all alone at the hospital during your night shifts during your night duties and you get to learn and do so much more because obviously you have to take your own decisions you have to treat these patients to the best of your ability and you are like alone at night at the hospital as a doctor so that's the decision i have to make what should i choose the bigger hospital status the city is bigger, it's like one of the, it's, this, it's the second biggest city after Oslo here in Norway. Uh, it's a beautiful city, I've been there, I love it. It's very like full of, you know, like full of life, nice, nice vibes. Uh, the other one is like a much smaller city. Uh, so I have to really think about this and I still haven't landed on one conclusion. Anyway, follow along because I'll probably be making my decision in the next upcoming two days and I have to submit an answer uh, by Sunday, today's Thursday. So I'll keep you guys posted and just Fingers crossed, man. Um, everything is, alhamdulillah, thanks to Almighty God, going according to the plan by now. The only thing left is to ace these freaking exams, which I have in exactly 27 days. Follow along and subscribe before you go. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Take care. Peace.